Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Ray and welcome back to our tutorial series on Objective-C data types. In this video tutorial, we're gonna take a look at bool. Booleans are the values you use to represent true and false values. So Objective-C is built on top of C, so there's a data type in C for this. It's lowercase Boolean and it has two, one only two possible values, true and false. Now you can use this still, but it's recommended in Objective-C to use Apple's data type instead. They have their own data type called capital bool, and they have their own true and false values called capital yes and capital no. Now, the tricky thing about capital bool is if you look to see how it's defined, uh, it's defined differently on a 32-bit OS versus a 64-bit OS. On a 32-bit OS, it's defined as a signed character. On a 64-bit OS, it's defined as the built-in Boolean data type. So this means that potentially a capital bool on a 32-bit OS could have more values than just zero or one. It could have the full range of signed character values. So you just have to be aware of that. The only thing you should treat as no or false is zero. Anything else should be treated as true. And in general, the best practice is if you're writing Objective-C code, you should be using capital bool and yes or no, because that's the Apple way of doing things. However, if you're writing C or C++ code, for some kind of reusable framework, then it's fine to use the lowercase bool. All right, let's dive into a demo. As usual, I'm going to use the iOS application single view application template, and I'm just gonna name this hello bool, and I'll just save this to my desktop. And I'm just gonna to go to the app delegate, did finish launching with options method, because that's a good place to put some test code. So first let's look at the C bool, regular bool data type. C, and we'll call it C bool. And remember, when you're working with these, you wanna use the regular true and false constant. Uh, and then the equivalent Apple Boolean is all caps this time. And this is what you'll be using most of the time in Objective-C, but when you work with that, you wanna use yes or no. So let's just log these out on one line here. And we'll print out the C bool. Now it turns out there's no format string for bools, but you can just, you know, basically cast them as a integer. So I'll just use percent %d for that and also for the apple bool and just pass them in one after the other there and run this. And as you'd expect, they both come out to one. True and yes are both defined to be one. Now let's play around with this a little more. I'll set the c bool to false and set my bool to no and just simply log them out again. So now C bool is zero and my bool is zero. So far, so good. Now watch when I do something strange. If I set C bool to 25 and I set my bool to 25 and log them out one more time, what do you think is gonna happen here? So C bool still prints out as one, even though I set it to 25. That's because the C style Boolean can only ever be true or false, there's only two possible values. But that's not so with the apple bool, because it is defined as a uh, signed character, so it could be any potential value there. So that's the thing you gotta be aware of. The good news is if you use your comparisons this way, you'll be safe. So C bool, if C bool, NS log, C bool is true. And I can do the same thing for the apple bool. Now, what do you think is going to happen here, considering that my bool is 25? Well, they both print out to true. And that's because when you evaluate an expression in C, it's considered true if the expression is anything other than zero, which is exactly what you want. So you're good to go there. All right, that's it for this video. So I do want to leave you guys with a challenge. What I want you to do is write the code you see on the left with the X into your project as step one. And then a step two, add the method you see at the bottom of this slide into your product as well. And then step three is to run this code on a 32-bit OS. You'll see that it doesn't work as expected. You'll see that the method is trying to compare if two numbers are different, and it's going to say, uh, they're not different, when obviously one and two are different. And then I want you to ask yourself, why isn't this working on a 32-bit OS? And you can actually try the same code on a 64-bit OS and it'll work fine. And then I say to yourself, uh, why does it work fine on a 64-bit OS? And the final thing I want you to do is replace that if statement with the version on the right with the green check mark next to it and ask yourself, hey, uh, this works now on both 32 and 64-bit OS, why is that? 
The version on the right is the best practice when working with Booleans and stuff. I want you to understand why. And this comes from a great blog post by Big Nerd Ranch. Mark Dial Rample wrote it. And uh, if you get stuck or have any or get confused at any point, there's a reference link to that in this post. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and we'll see you next time.